And for the first chill, you're running the house for fast, but yeah. the damage is already done. <laughs> Peter, I'm ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. So does Jesus give an explanation of telling you that I'm ready? What did you say? He said, I tell thee, Peter. <laughs> The cock shall not throw up crow this day before thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. What an answer. Peter had no idea that the sifting process already begun. <coughs> Satan had his minions already aligned. He knew what Peter's testimony was. He knew that Peter intended to go with Jesus to prison and to death. So he had people set up already. He got to the door to meet a little damsel. Little girl. Aren't you one of them? <laughs> He's alive. No. We get busted over by the little simple things. Yeah. Take us out. Same not do anything earth shattering. He's got little things to take us out. Yeah. Those little things in the whole trip. Yeah. 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 So when did I put that there? Yeah. <laughs> he tripped over a little girl who was simply opening the door. The extra girl. She probably wasn't even hired to do that. She was probably standing when Peter came by. He was an older man than she was, so she was a little more for the old guy. I think I, aren't you one of them? No. And it's cold that night, so he, he leaves the judgment hall and goes to stand by the guys with the fire in the barrels and warms his hand with the enemy. And somebody said, Aren't you a Galilean? Your speech betrays. You're one of them. And that's the time I got a little backwards in the fact. That's what St. Peter's for. The old fisherman came out. He cussed. So I don't know a man. I don't know him. And it says immediately, the cock crew. Peter realized that he had got sifted. But what, did he, what didn't he lose? It's just that I prayed for you that your faith fell not. Yeah. And though he was hurt and broken and lost a whole lot and didn't make it to prison with Jesus and didn't make it to the, to the cross with Jesus and die with him, he still had Jesus yeah. from afar. And when Jesus got from the grave, he says, go tell the brethren and Peter. Yeah. Maybe Galilee. How, how do you think that made him feel? Mm -hmm. God is a gift on us. You know? He has got when he's selling him out. Yes. And Jesus has been dead for two days. The first thing he comes back from the grave. Mm -hmm. I'm not through with him yet. <laughs> His days of being the chief apostle, he didn't start yet. Right. And that's the same man who denied Jesus later on, except on the day of Pentecost, 50 days later, and preached Jesus. Yeah. So men and brother hearken to me. Right? Yeah. And talk about this Jesus and you crucified his Lord and Christ, different Peter. Yeah. His faith was maintained. And because Peter became strong, all the twelve became strong, because they became strong, a church was created, and that church is a part of us now because of him praying for Peter. Yeah.